Hello guys, welcome back to AppSheet tutorial. So this is Aditya here. I have three plus years of experience in AppSheet and I do freelancing and I'm an entrepreneur. So in this video, we're going to see one of my pre-built project called Tourism App. This I have made for one of my client. So here we have embedded a QR code function in AppSheet. So that is a cool feature the AppSheet provides. So what does it does? The QR code, if you scan, it will move to the particular package so this is the tourism different packages we have so it if, if you scan the qr code through the mobile it will directly redirect to that particular package and you can book the package so let's see how this process works so for example i'll just show the demo of this app and then explain the process of uh, the behind the scenes how it works and what are the columns we needed and how it generates the QR code. So first for that I need to install the app so in my mobile to scan the QR code. Okay. So let's say this is a scan option we have. So once I press this in mobile it will open and we have to scan the QR code. So first I for that I'll just connect to the Google Meet through my mobile. If I send this to me, I'll just join my mobile. So I joined and I'll show the app and I'm going to scan the QR code. Start. So let's open this app. Let's install this app. So here we have the different options of packages and all we can see. And this is the scan option here we have. And this is the barcode of so for example this has different barcode and this has different qr code sorry not barcode qr code so here this is the qr code i'm going to scan through my mobile okay so this is an open and here we scan click here to scan i'm just going to scan this oh sorry guys i'm not just scan this and then it will open this particular respective package and we can get the codes or some we can book if you want so this is the demo of this project uh, and now i will show how it works so basically first we need to create a form so this is the package creation form okay so if you see that this form packages form we have the table packages and this column this i created id and images whatever you can put uh, destination number of days these and all so the main part is this qr barcode generation okay qr code actually so here what i have used is image column type and this is a virtual column barcode image and this is the qr code generation link so this is the static one and this id will be dynamically changes based on the id what you are given okay so that's the unique id actually so this i got it from the google cloud community and AppSheet community so this kind of links we have different different qr code generator links and finally i have to concatenate the respective id so and means which will concatenate this link to this id okay so then you will get one of the QR code. So yeah, this concatenating the ID, right? So ID is this. This is the columns of ID, and here I just type some random ID. So now see now the barcode got generated QR code. 
for generator and in the same way so if you google qr code generator in app sheet so if you see the qr code generator in google cloud community generating barcodes you will get the different different links so in that i got one of the links is so you see this one we are using charge.google.api and uh, this one will be the barcode so this link barcode.tech will create this kind of barcode and uh, qr code i have used this link i will give in the description you can use this link okay so once i have created this package so the next step will be the process generator so i'll just So in this way once we created the package uh, the qr code also it gets generated and this scan one this is the form view okay so if you see this scan the data which we have scan qr is the data so i will show this one so this we have created the package the respective id so these are the package here and the scan qr uh, we just need this temporary table for scanning the qr and uh, the package id and user email i just created don't need only these two columns are enough id and package id okay so if you see the definition of this id and package id just text and just change the name click here to scan and this one the open scanner option is there right so this one how it works is so if you select this Sorry, yeah the, in the other properties you have to check scannable so use a barcode scanner to fill in this column okay. manage a barcode scanner services so that i don't want i am not going to deep so we have uh, different uh, services uh, i am also not sure about that so just select this scannable barcode scanner then you will get this option barcode okay and once i select this uh, in, in mobile only it will work so this pc doesn't have access to barcode scanning so i sh showed you in the mobile demo right so just select the scanner so then it will allow to scan the qr code and after that if you see this scan view so this is the form view okay form view once we scan the qr code the data will get populated and then it will save automatically it should save automatically because uh, usually in mobile camera if we scan a qr code a barcode it will automatically open the website right so same like that we are just collecting the data and we are saving automatically and behavior this is the important part you need to please check so this scan qr this is the action which i have created so what does it does is the behavior scan qr behavior scan qr in the behavior i created the scan qr to this table scan qr link to filtered view so in the demo i couldn't able to show properly so what happens once i scan this qr code it will move to the particular package so for example i have scanned this this one means if any user scans this barcode the particular detail view it will go and it will get the codes okay so the use case of barcode is like uh, if you are going any shopping you can show the list of barcodes with the package names instead of showing all the details so the user will scan the barcode and it will move to this particular page and they can get the codes okay and they can purchase the package or something so instead of showing all the details right so that is the simplicity of this barcode and we can show all the barcodes in a single page but showing all the packages in a single pamphlet or it will be hard so the user will scan and it will move to this particular i mean the respective qr code page so how it does it goes based on the scan qr action so in this form once he selects this and the scan then it will auto save 
after auto saving it will trigger this action link to filtered view okay so what does it does is packages detail so that this view link to filtered view means so it will go to this view with the filter of this id this order package ID. okay so what how it works is so we have this scan qr right so i have scanned this package id one triple one two so if you copy and check with this packages no it's a dummy one we got since i haven't it's, since we created through the scanning through this laptop it shows the dummy product so actually this is my mobile i scan this one so this one how it works is so it will go to the package respective to this id PC became very slow. So this ID, this one, Bali honeymoon package, this one, it will redirect to that particular ID. So this ID equal to the generated whatever the scanned data that is the package ID from this table. So package ID this will go to the filtered view. This is the packages detail filtered view with the respective ID, the package ID. So that means this one. So it will open and the user can scan and all. Okay, so I hope you understand the process how it works. So in this scan, this is the form view, and once he scanned, it will auto save. Then it will rearing this scan QR, and it will move to the respective detail page. Okay. So in, uh, while generating, also we have uh, created this. This is the two parts, two important parts of this. So in the packages form the virtual column barcode this should be image type and this link i will give in description and we are embedding the id whatever the id you are giving so that id and this package id we are matching and we are moving to the respective detail column okay so this is the simple basic qr code use case so we have many other use cases also like uh, we can check the details of the product or like in building also, also we can generate the QR and the invoices also we can generate automatically like how in um, malls or sorry shopping malls or supermarkets are working so we can create a lot of use case so this is just basic version of the overview of the QR code so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any comments just leave in and like share and subscribe if you like this video and if you have any business queries i will just give the bot below link you can contact me for any other projects okay thank you guys and uh, thanks for the support uh, i just we are going to reach 1k thank you very much for everyone who is watching and supporting thank you guys bye we'll see you next video